BHD Army. It is your boy Blasphemous HD, and we're gonna watch a video that some of you guys have sent to me. Actually, a lot of you guys have sent me this video. It's about like a racist black dude, or something like that, right? It's called Black America. No, you know what? I can't say the name. I'm not gonna say the name of the video, and I'm gonna blur this whole video out because. If I showed you who he was, even if I asked y'all not to, y'all were going ride on this nigga for being as stupid as he probably is in this video. And to tell you the truth, man, based on what the title of this video is and uh, what you guys are telling me about this video, I'm probably going to roast this stupid son of a bitch. And every time I roast a motherfucker for being a dumbass, motherfuckers try to hit me with legal action. Like, real talk. I've had two people legitimately try to sue me for fucking roasting their stupid ass. I don't think I'm that good, but... Apparently, they think I am, so <laughs> we can Oh shit, so with that being said, uh, I'm not gonna link this person in the description down below. I'm pretty sure they would not want credit for this, because with as big as my fan base is, man, that'd be a lot of people shitting on his social media, so I'm not gonna do that. We are gonna roast this stupid son mama bitch responsibly, you feel me? Sponsortility. It's, I think that's the word. Let's get into this shit, dude. I hope this is not so dumb as words it pisses me off. Because this is a black dude. The title of it, it just screams that it's fuck shit. What's going on, people? What do you think this country would be like if it was run by blacks? First place comes to my mind is Detroit, Michigan. Then there's Philadelphia. Okay, I see what he, okay. You dirty motherfucker. You dirty motherfucker! <laughs> oh my god, dude. I just, he showed up, he just put up some pictures on the screen, and it's already got me pissed off. Okay, I already, I already know what the tone of this video is gonna be. I don't even have to watch it. I am. This Morpheus looking motherfucker is, to, oh my goodness. Then there's Chocolate City, DC. My mind goes to all the ghettos that's in the United States of America. That's what this country would be like if it was run by blacks. Because even if you look at President Barack Obama and the things that he stand for, the free phones, the money, uh, Obamacare, you know, everything is about giving stuff away. Nobody really wants to earn anything. And this is just not talking about black folk. But there are so many white people now that's down for Obamacare and getting extended unemployment and the motivation and drive to to excel or the, to, to, to go to school and learn some type of trade or skill and to work for Motherfucker! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! This is stupid son of a bitch hating on free shit! I will go on to say of course we need more people in general to be more hard-working Americans, but bro, who turns down free shit? If someone offered you a car for free, would you really be like, uh, pff, uh excuse me, you get that, that brand new Honda Civic out of my face. I want to work for my Pinto, all right? You get the fuck, you, I don't like that. Don't come at me with that free, you know, helping me shit. What? Motherfucker, what? Oh my God, he's already, oof, he's gotta get worse. For a living, it's just about gone. The family structure is gone. Um, the relationship between male and female is just about gone. There has been a lot of damage that has been done in this country and to this country. Now, I'm not gonna say that's solely Barack Obama's fault. I'm not gonna say that because, you know, there's damage that's been done um, by presidents prior to him coming into office but <laughs> a lot of the white folks the ones on top that's making a lot of racist comments in the media I could just about feel what they're thinking or what they're feeling right about now because this country is going downhill I mean even when it comes to to confidentiality you know, I mean, when you go to the bank or go to the hospital, who would you prefer black folks to 
handle your information, black folks, or would you prefer other people to handle it? Bruh, this blurred out, right? So y'all probably can't see. This nigga's black. 100% black. Really? Really, nigga? Really, nigga? I'll keep going. Really, nigga? He's serious. Oh, my goodness. So, if it has become that, what was it before that? Okay. For Babylon, and you know you know, a lot of us, we feel that the United States is Babylon the Great. So, if Babylon the Great has become the habitation of devils and every foul spirit and every unclean bird, what was it prior to that? You know? And if you look at the way this country has become, more blacks are saying that whites act black, Arabs act black, Latinos act black. Mexicans act black. Everybody, according to many uh, black Americans, say that everybody is acting black. So if everybody is acting black, then that means that just about everybody got a ghetto mentality. And I'm not saying that all blacks have a ghetto mentality. I'm not saying that. But if you look at D.C., if you look at all these places where blacks are the majority and are in control look at the condition of these places now it's easy to blame the white man they're scared of, of, of this place becoming a black a black controlled place and it's gonna become full of welfare recipients it's gonna become become a country that's full of homosexuals and lesbians it's gonna become, become a country man that's, that everybody wants to legalize drugs and marijuana so I can understand like you know Bill O'Reilly and you know all these other rednecks that's coming out now they're saying things over the media and they're speaking their heart let them speak their heart but instead of listening to the racial overtone listen to what they're saying because they see something that you don't see and if you notice which is the racial overtone you stupid son of is she fucking serious <laughs> And motherfucker is saying racist shit regardless of what they stand for, nigga. That shit is all done. This motherfucker's trying to tell us, basically, in not so many words, that we should listen to racist people. Oh, just the fact that he's racist doesn't mean the things that he has planned for you are bad. Nigga, yes, it does. It always fucking does, man. If someone does not like your race, they don't have good things in store for you, motherfucker. And that's just real. How stupid of a person do you have to be to fuck for this shit? That's like if someone is a crip and you're a blood and the blood is telling you, hey man, I know you're a crip, but it's cool. You should go down that alleyway. Nigga, no. This person has horrible things in store for you. If there's anything that I cannot stand, yo, it's someone who hates their own race and this could be black on black white on white asian on asian i can't stand that shit these people always try to come from it like it's logical right like oh no this is just the way things are and i've seen a lot of it and you know it's just statistically proven when really what it is is this is a far more deep-seated problem within this dumbass individual right here this nigga has gotten no love from the people around him that's what the fuck it is you see that shit every fucking time how many times have you run into a black dude that says they hate black women but then you see him hitting on i can't tell you how many times i've run into this shit yo i knew this one dumb fuck up at unlv a lot of my friends will probably know who i'm talking about he was a bully right so we be inside the game room uh, you know, at the arcade and shit. And one day this dude came in and was like, yo, man, I hate black women. I can't stand black women. They're all sex and shit. And I'm sitting there like, bro, yo, hey, look, shut the fuck up. All right, my girlfriend's black. My mom's black. Nigga, your mom is black. The fuck is wrong with you? Shut the fuck up. Miss me with the fuck shit, all right? If you want to preach that shit somewhere else, go do you. But not here, not while I'm here. Because you stupid as fuck right now. You know, he's like, all right, man, you right, my bad, my bad. Tell me why two weeks later, we are in the SU of UNLV. This nigga is trying to hit on a black chick. And she's not red bone. She's not even sort of light skinned. She is like three times blacker than I am. She's like the back of Forrest Whitaker's neck black. This chick was damn near dark purple. 
That's how black she was. And this, he's scared to talk to her and shit. R really, nigga? Like, you see this shit all the fucking time, right? This person saying that black people are the reason why the world is bad and if black people ran the world, the whole world would be a ghetto. That's like a white dude coming out and saying, yeah, man, if white people were in majority control of the whole entire world, man, it would be an all-you-can-rape buffet starring little boys. You know, because molestation, fucking no! <laughs> That's not the way it works! That's like an Asian dude coming out and being like, you know, man, if Asian people ran the world, it'd just be nothing but car crashes and anime. <laughs> because, you know, some people try to say that Asian people can't drive and shit like that. I just don't understand blaming any race for any type of fuck shit. You know what's wrong with this dude, aside from the fact that he's probably fucking Stacey Dash, who's like a close friend of hers or some shit. You can tell this dude watches a lot of fucking media, a lot of Fox News. Not to say that Fox News is inherently racist, they just post the stories that they know is gonna get a lot of fucking views. It's gonna bring money into the station, which is black people doing fucked up shit, right? If you catch a white person robbing a bank and shooting a couple people, no one really gives a fuck, right? It's not that big of a deal. He had mental issues, right? But if a black dude does the same shit, then it's trending news because, you know, America has a, a love. You know, look at the World Star Hip Hop Vine compilation. Mostly, nearly all black people doing fucked up shit because that's what fucking sells. My only problem with that is it tends to paint black people in a way as to where all of us do that fucked up shit, right? But most of us are smart enough to understand these are just motherfuckers trying to get views and money and popularity by posting what's trending and, you know, black people doing ratchet shit is trending. We can divide entertainment versus what's real, you feel me? That's like a lot of people out here thinking that, you know, every cop is out here murdering people. Don't get it twisted. I don't trust the police, but not every police officer is out there murdering people indiscriminately for no reason, you feel me? But it's trending. No one posts a cop saving a kitty out of a tree or helping people. They'll post a cop beating black people or shooting unarmed people for no reason because that's what's going to get views. We can differentiate between those two, but this stupid son of a bitch obviously fucking can't, and he has been indulging himself in massive amounts of fucking media in general. This motherfucker's stupid as fuck, and it's sad, because he's trying to sound so smart, but this is some stupid shit. This is some base level thinking type shit. It's not hard to understand that you can't blame a single race for the fucked up shit that you see happen in society. This motherfucker's stupid as fuck. I'm not even gonna listen to any more of this dumb motherfucker's rant. Like I said, I'm not gonna shout this out. I'm not gonna show his face. I'm not gonna put any of this shit up because this motherfucker probably feels some type of way about this shit, man. This dude hates black people. And with that being said, I also tend to have a, a real hate for the motherfuckers that try to treat women different based on their skin color. But what I mean by that is, like, you'll see dudes out here praising light-skinned chicks. Like, they're the baddest bitches in the fucking world, right? And if a chick is dark-skinned, she's automatically ugly. Makes no fucking sense. What type of stupid shit? I feel like some of these people, all of them need to be lined up in a row and someone just needs to get the biggest hand and put the whole damn vat of powder on that bitch and just run down the line and slap the shit out of all of these niggas. <laughs> That's just me. Anyone who is that serious about being racist, they're fucking stupid. They're sheep. They're fucking followers. You're basically listening to what the media is telling you is real. You are not smart enough to read in between lines and differentiate the real from fucking entertainment or media or, you know, what motherfuckers would love for you to believe, you know what I mean? So that they can get money from your dumb ass. Just 100% stupid. Oh, and by the way, uh, this nigga looks like a fat Paul Moon. I still can't show his face. Some people might figure it out by that. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um... Yeah, I, I did not expect to do this video. This is your boy Blast from Sage D. Make sex, not killing people. And that is all I've got to say about that. Shh, I don't think that makes sense. God.